Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making chicken and sausage gumbo. Um, I normally do this with chicken thighs. And really y'all, I thought that that's what I bought because they were, they were like this. They were folded like that when I bought them. So I'm doing chicken breasts. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. The first thing I do is I season my chicken. And yes, we're using the Tony Sacheries. God, these are really thin. I'm not happy with myself. And I'm gonna brown them. And I'm putting them in the pot that I'm actually gonna make my gumbo in. I've crowded my pot. Like I said, I'm not cooking these all the way through. Okay, I just gave these just a little bit of color while they're cooking. Uh, you need to be chopping up your, your sausage. And I'll go ahead and use all of this. Probably normally would only use about five, but since we're gonna be low on chicken, I'll, I'll do all the Zumo sausages. You can cut them at an angle. You can just cut them small. You can cut them in quarters, however you like. So now I've added my sausage. Uh, I didn't add any oil. They'll make some. But I'm just gonna brown these up. To make our roux, we're gonna use two cups of flour. I'm gonna use two cups of corn oil. Um, I got a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, excuse me. Um, I've got a quarter teaspoon of red pepper and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika in here. I've got a half a teaspoon of onion powder in here. I've got a half a teaspoon of oregano. I've got a couple of bay leaves in here. Then um, we're going to have salt and pepper to your taste and, and some gumbo filet and some parsley and I'm going to cook some rice. I'm also adding this trio of onion, bell pepper, and celery. Um, it would probably taste a lot better if you did the actual vegetables, but this is all I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the whole entire bag. Okay, so I've added one and three quarters cup of corn oil to my already rendered sausage grease, and I'm gonna let that get pretty hot. Okay, so we got a little bubble going. I'm gonna add my flour. Now this is the part, probably the most important part. I'm turning my fire down a little bit because this Dutch oven holds some heat. You've got to baby this roux. Okay, you've gotta get all the lumps out. You gotta get some color on it and you cannot burn it. Just uh, get it. We're gonna cook this. Round and round we go. Okay, it's got the flavor from my chicken that I cooked in there. It's got the flavor from the sausage that I browned a little bit in there. And now, that the lumps are out, we're just gonna cook it until it turns dark brown. Okay, I'm still working on my roux. It's been about 20 minutes. Um, I've been having to raise the temp, then lower the temp, just to kind of keep it from burning. Um, I'd like it to be a little darker than this, so I'm gonna keep working on it. For your chicken stock, you need about a cup of green peppers and about a half a cup of onion just to give it a little flavor. So I've got six cups of water in here. I'm gonna add, let's see, that's about a cup of bell pepper. And I'll just grab a, about a half a cup of onion in here and I'm gonna add the chicken that I didn't cook all the way. Just gonna add it 
let it finish cooking in here so that my gumbo can have some chicken stock in it. So I'll cook this about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, see this rich flavor here? This is the, the color you're going for. Um, now we're gonna season it. We're gonna add the cayenne, pepper and the paprika. We're gonna add the onion powder. We're gonna add the oregano. We're gonna add the garlic. To stir. Ooh. Turn your fire down. Ooh, my. Turn your fire down. I have, but it's not. It's still, uh. It's still calming down. Alright. And then we're gonna add the onions and the peppers. We're gonna let this cook. Ooh. We're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. See, it's getting darker as we go. That's okay. About five minutes. Okay. So, the five minutes is up. I'm going to start adding my chicken stock. This is two cups. I'm going to throw in my three bay leaves. See, it's still going, and I've got this on low. All right. Give it a stir. Poured all the stock in there. Vegetables and all. And uh, it's kind of thick. I'm going to add my sausage, and I'm going to shred my chicken before I put it in here. Might add another cup of water or two. Okay, I've added two more cups of water. Now I'm going to add my sausage. I've rough chopped my chicken. I'm going to add it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt, and we're going to throw in some pepper. Okay, bring this to a boil, and then we're going to check on this in about 30 minutes. All right, for my potato salad, I have peeled and washed and kind of cut my potatoes into even-sized chunks. Okay, I've added my potatoes to my salt water. And I'm gonna boil these for about 15 minutes. Okay, my potatoes are fork tender. I drained them in my colander. And now I'm going to add some salt. That's probably about a teaspoon of it. I'm adding the teaspoon of salt because we're also gonna be adding sour cream. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter kind of melted I've added two tablespoons of mayonnaise I've added a heaping tablespoon of sour cream I'm gonna stir all this together and now that that's stirred together I've added four tablespoons of dill relish to top it off I've added a quarter teaspoon of paprika I've also added a tablespoon of olive oil and that's it. That's how I do my potato salad. Um, adding the olive oil at the end really fluffs it up a lot. So a lot of people from this point, they'll add green onions or they'll add uh, chopped boiled eggs. I just don't like it. I kind of like it plain like this. Um, but, you know, make it your own. Okay, now it's time to add a little bit of parsley. That's about half a teaspoon. You could add a little more if you want. As far as the gumbo filet, 
because all it really does is thicken it up and mine's on the thick side anyway so I might not use any so here it is plated up got our crackers I put some gumbo filet in there anyway and added a scoop of rice there we are doesn't that look good it's got the rice and the chicken anyway on a nice cool evening this is just a great dinner and I really suggest that you try it this way I know that there are a lot of products out there Duguay's makes a roux Louisiana makes a roux um, Zataran probably does but I suggest that you try doing it yourself. It's not that hard. And um, it'll probably be a little quicker for you because, you know, I was trying to film myself doing it but and had other things going on. But listen, this is one of my favorites. So why don't you tell me one of your favorites and I'll try to make it. Anyway, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I ask that you do. And uh, hit the notification bell too so you can find out when I've got another video coming out. But this is going to be a good one. I really suggest that you try it. But hey, I want y'all to have a good night. And thanks for stopping by.